Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to be talking about my solar setup. I have three 100 watt Renogy panels that I ordered on Amazon for about $100 a piece. I used U-bolts to attach them to my Highland crossbars that are actually made for a low roof fan, but I extended them using flat plates of steel to accommodate for the high roof. So all of these panels are tied together using pigtails and that goes to a 10 gauge red and black positive and negative wire that runs down into the van through strain reliefs that I installed on the roof, which then goes to my Renogy Rover Bluetooth charge controller. From there, the power goes to the batteries and also off of the alternator I have a separator that is basically a switch at 13.2 volts it shuts off so I can still start my van and drive away. So the alternator charges the batteries and so does the solar. Also what you see there is a Magnum Energy 2500 watt inverter charger and so I can also plug this in and charge my batteries on a flow charge just like you would a camper. So basically all my wiring runs to the batteries except for the ones off of the charge controller that run to the fuse block and that is what actually powers the accessories. The fuse block along with the separator are underneath of my bed. I have a hinge door where all the wiring is at which I'll get to in a later video. And I did that just so I could have a clean look. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Arnold.escapades at gmail.com and subscribe to see more how-tos and more content from off-grid camping. Thank you all for watching and feel free to give us a follow on social media over at Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel.